five o'clock in the morning, girl. JB has been obsessed talking about fairy doors. So 10 o'clock at night last night, I decided, <laughs> I decided to make this fairy door for him. Girl, running around looking for something. So isn't this, I just threw it together real quick to make a little fairy door for him. Let's put on some shorts. Okay. Sorry, baby. I think there's something in here. I think you gotta check the walls everywhere. <laughs> I gotta you gotta check the walls around the house. The walls. Check all around. What's that? What do you think that is? Did you even make that? I don't know. When I woke up, it was there. You want to look closer? I, I haven't. I have not know. I did not know who made that. You want to look closer at it? Are you scared? Why are you <laughs> for? Look, you got drool still in the corner of your mouth, baby. You gotta wash your face off. Wait, I think you made that. You think I made it? Hey, you guys. I'm in my car, running around. Just dropped JB off for summer school. This is the last week of summer school. I knew I would be crazy this week. I knew I would be crazy. I'm trying not to let my anxiety get to me, but. My husband had a rough night. Let me tell you something. The healthcare in our country is trash. If you have an ongoing issue, God forbid if you need meds, you gotta go through all this red tape to get meds. God forbid if you need a specialty drug, even worse. Thank God that I'm able to be on, um, excuse me, I'm able to get all my medication when I need it. But, He, he has some ongoing digestive issues. Overall, overall, he's fairly healthy. Hell, he's healthier than I am. But when he does have issues, he has issues. So last night he was up, he didn't go to bed till like four o'clock in the morning. And I've been calling, calling, calling our doctor. They're not answering the, hello? Calling our morning, finally got a, um, a doctor's office way in another city. It's not that far away, but still we gotta go up to Anthem. Um, for my husband to do a walk-in because she's like we don't have anything available today. What the actual hell? There's nothing today. He has to get medication um, The doctor we go to she's like we don't have anything available to Monday. That's six days away He's he's in a lot of pain. He can't be without meds right now. So I'm gonna go in here. I'm at Albertsons. I'm gonna go up here at Albertsons and get um, some breakfast for us because I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and drive him to an outp not outpatient to the walk-in they do walk-ins so we're gonna sit there and hopefully he can be seen and he can get what he needs to get to feel better but hey y'all it is the day after um dealing with my husband issues and just so you guys know he has some gastrointestinal issues girl and it was horrible i mean we were up from 3 a.m in the morning we didn't we were literally running around to 5 p.m. So without going into any detail, he was in a lot of pain. Turned out he had some blood clots. We went to the doctor. The doctor was able to treat him, um, give him medication. Um, I then had to go get his prescribed medications from Walgreens. That was drama. We were at, well, I was at Walgreens for damn near 40 minutes. <sighs> Medications not covered by insurance, all this madness. So was able to get everything done. Got home. He soaked in a bathtub to relieve some pain. So you know where I'm going with this, right? But I'm not gonna go into any detail. 
um, he started feeling pain again. I was like, we have to do something. So called the doctor again, rushed back to the doctor. They, you know, were able to alleviate the pain. I'm like, we not, I'm like, we need to get something for pain medication. Got him some pain medication. My neighbors kept JB while I'm running around, literally like running around for hours. Um, got home, made dinner, he settled down, and he started to feel himself around 6 p.m. and he fell asleep at 7, y'all. I went to bed at 8. Everyone was in bed by 8 p.m. I was so tired. Um, and today I'm just emotionally exhausted. I don't think I'm gonna vlog that much today. I may not do that much tomorrow. I'll come back on tomorrow to let you guys know how the parent-teacher thing went because I am meeting JB's teacher. It's it's a lot going on. I mean, dealing with my husband's medical issues and then with JB starting school and I'm there. I have doctor's appointments for JB and I had to cancel something for tomorrow because I, I just can't do it. I can't do it right now. So, but you know, that leads me to this discussion. Yesterday was a reality, not necessarily a reality check for me, but when I think about, because um, I, I think about stuff, you guys, like end of life care, possibly possibly because I used to work for hospice. So I always think about, okay, you know, who would take care of me as I get older? And I always assume, because right now on paper, I'm not as healthy as my husband. I mean, he works out every day. He's at a healthy BMI. Um, he doesn't drink. He doesn't smoke. He drink occasionally. Um, but... He's not throwing back shots either. He knows his limit. He's relatively a lot healthier than me on paper. You know what I mean? Um, and he, he handles stress very well, which is the key too. But, you know, caring for him and doing a lot of physical stuff for him yesterday, I'm like, what if it's not that it's not gonna be that way? What if he's not gonna be the one taking care of me? What if I'm the one taking care of him as we get older? That was a huge reality check for me, so. And my husband's a little bit older than me too, y'all. Not not by a lot, but he's a little older. Hey y'all, I'm in my car and I decided to do a little a little neutral beat. Can y'all see my face? That's pretty hum. A very neutral beat. Now I'm thinking about doing something. Can y'all see me? Hold on, hold on, girl. Get it together. There we go. Look at that glow, that toasted arm in there. Um, I decided to do a little neutral beat, lift up my spirit, spirits. What the hell is that? Oh, Amber. Lift up my spirits, get out the house. I really don't want to leave my husband alone too long. I mean, he's okay, but you never know what may, what may or may not happen. So I'm gonna to go to Staples, I have some printouts, and I'm gonna come right back home. I told him I'm gonna come right back home and put together some of my homeschooling stuff. I guess I can show y'all that and quit, you know, pity partying around because it's not my style. Um, but y'all like this beat? Yes, I'm thinking about doing something similar to this. It's a little messy, like the, the um, blending is a little messy because I, I use too many colors and I use colors on top of colors, which you're not supposed to do. Um, I wanna do something very similar to this, but glammed up for my high school reunion. And let me tell you something, that vlog will be lit. Picture my best friend's wedding times 10. I'm vlogging at the high school reunion itself. Oh yes, they better be ready. I will be vlogging um, at my best friend's house. I will be vlogging the hotel. It would literally probably be like three days of vlog. So well, I'll have three days of footage because we're gonna be there for six days. So I want to show you guys real quick what my homeschool curriculum is gonna be like. Again, this is supplemental. Weekly lesson plans are going to be very basic, girl. I mean, very basic. You have the date up here, an area for the Bible verse, African proverb, and then this is where I will basically list everything out. Math, reading, writing, and then here we have history, geography, social studies, art, music, notes. And this is just writing out the notes. And then directly behind this is where I will have all the worksheets and literature, whatever I need. Map of Africa, you already know. <laughs> so the tab here is monthly. Um, here is our monthly highlights, what we just to keep me on track. And these are in sleeves, by the way. And then we have um, our reading list here. Next up is our monthly highlights. We're gonna be covering um, a person, if we could do two, even better. People like Maya Angelou, Zora Neale, Tiger Woods, Iman, I think Iman is a great businesswoman. Um, Neil DeGracie Tyson. Field trip recommendations. Baby, put that up right now. Put that up. Hold on, y'all. He has scissors. 
Recommendations for field trips that are here in the valley. Sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> this is what the monthly curriculum looked like. For some reason, they didn't get both pages. So this is, I know y'all really can't see that. Okay, here we go. This is my subject. This is September through February. I have it mapped out for the entire year. Guys, what else do I have? Look, I've already forgotten. Um, I have my our goals here, academic goals for the year, some resources, and yeah, I mean, I'm still working on this. This is our book log, and um, I need to get my child together because he's acting crazy. But these lesson plans will be weekly, and I'll just will have to make copies of these. I just want to see what everything looks like, and I'll make adjustments. We're not starting off supplemental learning until September because I want to get an idea of what kindergarten is like because they they are. Let me turn the camera around. I received an email from the teacher introducing herself. She sent an email to the entire class, but she also stated that they will be doing something new this year. Kind of interesting. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but we shall see. Basically, what they're going to be doing is rotating the children around, and they will they will match up the child with a teacher based on the personality of the two to see if they match well. I'm okay with that, I guess, but it's interesting to see how they're going to actually do this. So they're taking out my hair. I'm gonna start prepping our dinner because we're gonna be back so late that, sorry, we're gonna be back so late that the dinner will are, I, I can't see me, let me turn on some lights. Um, I decided to fry fish instead because I'm, I am tired. I, I have so much respect for those of you who are in the medical field. I've always have in general, but now that I'm having to do can things. You, can you open up my chair? Can you go? Can I put the gun on my chair now? JB, give me a minute, okay? Um, so much respect for those of you in the medical field. And because I'm having to do physically stuff to help my husband out. Um, Cause he just needs help and <sighs> it is emotionally taxing at this point, but we'll get through it. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare some food now. <coughs> And, um, ooh. yeah, and dealing with this one, oh, oh yeah, I know this, this vlog is going to be, but this is real life. Not everything is roses every day. You know, this is what we, this is what I'm going through. So, so y'all, I am making a pina colada cake. I'm going to check in on my cakes. I have them in nine inch cake pans. I can't find my eight inch cake pans. Yeah, let me, I turned off the eye. Um, so a traditional baby, I'm recording a traditional pina colada cake. Well, it depends. The layers is typically pineapple, and of course, it's a cream cheese frosting. Now, I was started off with this cream cheese frosting with, of course, butter and cream cheese. I typically have in my ingredients, you guys, because I don't want it too rich. I use um, one third of a fat cream cheese and half a stick of butter. To that, I added uh, half of a lemon, one cup of powdered sugar, begin the mix. I'm tasting it. I then whipped in about half a cup of, what was it? Whipped topping. As I'm tasting, I'm looking at it, it looks a little runny. What's the solution when it's a little runny? Well, I add more sugar. At that point, it was way, it was getting a little sweet. Oh, and I had added coconut. Unfortunately, my coconut I added was sweetened coconut. Tasting it, it was way too sweet. Um, the sweetened coconut, more sugar. So what I did to correct this was, <sighs> I clutched my pearls, girl. I took out half of the icing. I then whipped in another cup of whipped cream because whipped cream is not that sugary. You know, it's not that sweet. There's a little sweetness, but not really. So now I have this light, fluffy icing, which by the way, also has bits of pineapple in it. Now I have gotten to the point to where I don't care for fully iced cakes. I don't mind icing the layer and the top, that's it. I don't need anything on the side. You don't, I don't need all that icing. We don't need all that icing, okay? Um, or I'll do like a pound cake with a glaze. You know, I don't need, the cake itself is good, but where your calories come in, girl, is when you be putting on all that icing, so yeah. Um, we'll probably serve this with some strawberries to even out the sweetness, tartness. It's going to be really good. I have a vanilla cake in the oven that I'm going to take out here. Hey, you guys, I'm in my guest bedroom. Let me sit down, girl. Let me settle down. So, ooh, y'all look. <laughs> now, this is my hair after the kinky tresses. It looks good still, huh? Um, I really do like those products, by the way. 
Yeah, I hear JV. Um, everything's going good. Today is Saturday. We um not gonna keep talking about my husband issues, you guys, but he's doing a lot better. Um I will say this. I really had to think about my wedding vows this week. Girl, I mean, when they say in sickness and in health, through good and bad, this is what they're talking about. And I, I could tell, I mean, my husband's very grateful for everything I do do around the house and do for our family in general, even without this, you know, going on, things going on this week. But by, by the fourth day um, while I was helping him, he said, I really appreciate you doing all this. And it's good to hear your significant other acknowledge you because my, my husband instead of talking he does things to show his thanks but to verbatim um hear him thank me meant a lot to me i was like you're welcome i said not, not a problem you're welcome girl <laughs> so um but no we're doing fine yesterday we met jb's teacher it was went really really well it was kind of weird they did something different um where they did a scavenger hunt so yeah that was good his teacher she's sweet yeah, no, I'm going to be honest. My only concern, I don't know. Y'all let me know, those of you who are educators. This could be a good or a bad thing. She has never taught at this school before. She's only been teaching for three years. She's She looks young. Um, There's four kindergarten teachers. And now one of the things that they're going to do this year, and you guys heard me talk about this earlier, is that they're going to rotate the children around. And so I asked her, I said, so how will this work? So she explained that during the month of August, let's say that they want to learn a nursery rhyme or they're going to learn four nursery rhymes, one nursery rhyme from each teacher. I said, OK, that sounds good. And at the end of August, depending on, you know, the relationship, they will then move the teachers, um, excuse me, move the, the children around to the appropriate teacher or whatever. Um, so I'm like, OK, so we got all that. i um, got a bunch of paperwork, y'all. This is so different and those of you i know i have some older um uh moms who watch my channel and some of you who have grandchildren so you know how it is now i mean there was one um sheet of paper that talked about how you can subscribe to text messages about assignments and that is just so i'm like what excuse me very had a nice time last night we got there really early so we left early i'm gonna make sure that i got all his uniforms he is good for school starts Wednesday, he is good. Got his new backpack. My only concern with JB is his eating, y'all. He has to get better about eating. So today, I introduced, well, yesterday, I introduced back, I should say, um, Nan. Those of you who don't know, Nan is a flat bread, like a flat pita bread. But JB, but JB is so picky that he wants it warmed up. He can eat pancakes cold, so that could be an option for him. Because I'm trying to think, what can I pack him every day? That's not going to cost me a, an arm and a leg. Um, we also have to make sure that he has snacks. And so JB eats snacks. That's all he eats. You know, there's no set meal for him. It's just ongoing snacks. So I need to cut this stuff out now because it's going to be really expensive packing him snacks every day as opposed to buying a loaf of bread, you know, and having turkey and him having turkey sandwiches all week. Girl. So I'm going to work with him. Like today, you know, I'm going to, you know, have him have some, he's going to have some Nan with some strawberries. Now he does like certain, let me kind of stuff y'all. He does like certain fruits. So we'll see. Oh, real quick back to the um, kindergarten thing. So I'm going through the paperwork just now before I came on cam and I'm looking at the kindergarten goals. I'm reading through them and I look at my husband. I'm like, JB already knows 80% of what's on here. I mean, it's stuff like counting by tens. Well, I just introduced him to that. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that most of the stuff on that list, I've already introduced him to, or he's, he, you know, he's been introduced to it through pre-K. Um, and a good 75% of it, he already knows. Sight words, spelling sight words, spelling his first and last name. Um, and I did let the teacher know that I work with him quite a bit. Girl, she straightened it real quick when, when I um, started saying that. I said, you know, I believe that education starts in the home. I didn't come off as overbearing either, you guys. I'm talk I talk to her like I'm talking to you. Um, I let her know that I do believe that education starts in the home. And I'm one of those pe one of those type of parents that started with my child at a very long young age. However, um, the supplemental learning will not be um, 
overlapping what she's doing or basically I'm not going against what she's teaching it's an addition so it's supplemental so I told her it will be history it will be and I let her know I said it will be African centered history and she really liked that um and arts and music but uh for homework and all that of course I'm already on it so she was like that's great that's really good to know and she said you know if you've already started with him and if you're going to be doing this in addition we he may be more advanced and he may get bored so if that's the case they will move him around so he may go you know to first grade reading and then come back to kindergarten to do something else and so that's why I like this school and I know um, several other schools have um, adopted this type of model sorry y'all I will show y'all what I'm cooking this cake I need to get it together girl I'm looking at everybody's weight loss journey congratulations to you Rhonda Rhonda um, missed the life for you guys who's a youtuber here in the valley she's lost some some weight she's on the keto um, who was that? Simply Unique? Do y'all follow her? I, this is not trying to be, you know, shady or anything. I didn't know she was that, that voluptuous, that curvy. I had no idea because typically all you see is her face. So she showed her body and I was like, I had no idea she had all that thickness. <laughs> so she's doing keto and intermittent fasting. So she, she is dropping that weight. Um, I ain't doing a damn thing but eat. <laughs> no. Now, I've been off all week, of course, dealing with things with my husband and, you know, trying to get JB prepared. I've been off all week. I have not hit the gym, um, but I haven't gained any weight at all. I'm still sitting at 167, so that's fine. I have seven weeks to my high school reunion, so if I wanted to, I could definitely drop 15 pounds, but I'm not in a hurry to do it, y'all. I'm just making sure that I'm not gaining any weight. Once, if I get up to like 170, which is only, you know, uh, a burrito away, um, I would definitely keep in that check. But right now I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm just making sure that I'm not going overboard. I don't overeat. Like if I eat something crazy, if y'all see me eating Raisin Cane the next day, I can't do that. There's just no way. Um, so yeah, y'all, that is it for this week, I think. It has been a long week, but I have stayed prayful. I've been getting up, reading uh, my Bible, thanking God. Even like I, I've always told y'all, even the, in the midst of everything, I'm thanking God, giving all honor and glory to the Most High for keeping me here, keeping my husband here, keeping my, my son here. We are good, okay? This just... And I was thinking, just thinking this this morning. Um, this will bring us closer. Going through this, it's who wants to go through something where their significant other is sick or even a loved one is not feeling well. But once we get through this um, and look back on it, well, this will just bring us closer together. So that is it, y'all. I'm going to show y'all this cake. And I don't want to see any comments, girl, about you on a diet. And I'll just enjoy the clip. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll see y'all in a few more days. Take care. Bye.